Hello, this is Hope College Sports Information Director Alan Babbitt here with head football coach, the Flying Dutchman, Peter Sturzma. Peter, a new fall uh, start of football practice for you. Obviously a great career at East Grand Rapids, and now uh, here we are at, uh, at Hope College at your alma mater. What, what are your thoughts as you're on the eve here of uh, the start of football practice with Hope? You know, I get, it's, it's uh, obviously very special. It's uh, also that time, I, and I, I always compare it to that first day of school when you were a young person, and, and then being in education, being a teacher, and then an administrator, and a coach, and, and saying that first day, what do you want? It? What do you want? Well, you want everybody to have a great experience, uh, because that first day is a great way of setting the tone. So there's nerves, there's anticipation, there's been a lot of work and preparation put into this. Uh, but, you know, there's been a lot of work and preparation put in by our players. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what our focus is, is making sure that they're ready to go making sure that they have done everything that we've asked of them to do since the last time we saw them in May. And, uh, but that, that nervous feeling, I think, will always be there. If it's not there, then I guess that's when we have a problem. Not so long ago, you were a player yourself uh, here at Hope College on the first day of practice. Any memory that sticks out from your experience as a player that maybe might cross your mind as you uh, prepare to you know, lead this group of Flying Dutchmen? You know, for sure, I, I, I remember vividly as a freshman and going out of the field for that first time and looking around saying, number one, wow, these guys are big and strong and fast and this is no longer high school football. And, and yet I also uh, remember that time when, uh, you know, you're sitting in your dorm room and you're kind of wondering what you're doing there. And, <laughs> and, and I guess I say that because that's something that's a point of emphasis for us, for our staff, for our players, our upperclassmen in particular, to recognize that there's going to be guys that are going to be looking around saying, wow, this is not my hometown, this is not high school football, and, and that yet, yet we can establish our own culture of winning and our, establish our own traditions here that can be just as unique and just as special as what they uh, had in, in their hometowns and at their high schools, and, and recognizing that, yes, this is college football, and yes, guys are bigger, stronger, faster, but it's still a game. It's still a game that has tremendous opportunities for memories and, and, and things that go on on Saturday afternoons. The pageantry of college football uh, that can happen is unique. It's special. We have to recognize that, but we also have to remember that uh, you know we're representing something bigger than just us. It's our team. It's our program. It's our college. It's our brand of Hope College. And then, Coach, talking about that group of players, uh, just talk about this this group, what you think you, you have as a general group and what you're looking for them as you guys get started here and start preparing for that September 3rd opener. All indications is when you look at our guys as they're, as they're walking in, uh, they look great. You know, they're, they're excited, uh, but health-wise, they they, they've been working hard. Uh, we established leadership council groups that have been uh, self-monitoring each other throughout the summer and pushing each other. And, and it's been outstanding to hear their feedback on that, that they're, they're excited about, uh, about the start. They're, they're nervous. There's some trepidation, no question about that. But that's normal. That's natural. And, and you know, I, I, we look to leaders. You know, we look to our senior class and our leaders. And you, when you talk about an offense and a Mike Steffen as a, as a returning starter at center, that, you know, that's a guy we're going to put a lot of pressure on to lead. And, you know, when you have guys like that, you don't really have to put pressure on them. They put pressure on themselves to lead because they have such high expectations for themselves. And, and you know, an Aaron O'Meara and a, and a Kirk Gibson on defense who put such uh, uh, pressure, again, on themselves to lead. And they have expectations, and we think that will permeate through our team. Wonderful, Coach. We're excited, too. Looking forward to that September 3rd opener. It's, it's Miss Stadium Community Day. Come out and join us, fans.